Hi everybody, in this video we're gonna draw this exercise that is shown in front of you. So as you can see we have this piece that has a lot of circles. So let's start. We write limits and 0, 0 for the lower corner and 200 by 200 for the top right corner and now we can change the isoplane by pressing F5 and drawing a line by writing L for line that has a length of 50 okay now we have a vertical line and its height is 75 and now we can start drawing the circle the inner one the inner one which has a diameter of 64 so we select circle from here axis end and now iso circle and D for diameter and now we write 64 again we select iso circle its center at this point and its diameter is 100 okay now we draw another line that has a length of 100 to this direction okay and from the end point of this line we draw another circle by selecting axis end iso circle and this circle has a radius has a diameter D for diameter and now its diameter is 25 another one has a diameter of 50 okay and now we can draw a line we can draw a line that has length of 10 and we can move it from its center a uh, mid midpoint to the center of this circle okay and now we can copy this line from here up to here as well as this point to this point okay and now we can trim by selecting this one and this one and now we can trim this line and this line as well as this one and this one okay trim again and these are the reference lines and now we can trim this circle and this circle I mean this part of the circle okay now you can select many things at once like these circles and these ones and copy change the isoplane from this point for example and we have a distance of 40 okay as you can see this circle is not visible from the inner part so we trim this is the reference and this is the one that to be trimmed again this circle is not visible from the here so we trim this circle okay and draw a line that has a length of 40 and copy this line from here up to the quadrant and and now we can copy this circle from the end point to the mid one and we can also repeat the same thing 
and now we move it from the center five units to this side okay now we write X line and we specify the first point and the end point okay and enter and now select this command from parametric and select the circle and this line again we select the circle again we select the circle and this line as you can see this circle has been moved from its uh, center so we move it again from its center move this circle from its center to this point okay now we can trim select this circle and this one and trim this line from this side and this side there we go we can draw another line here and we can trim and now we move this line from this point up to here and we can copy this line at distance of 10 now we can trim we can trim this circle and Now we can draw a line that has a length of 6 units and we can move it from its mid point to this point and we draw a vertical line again we cover this line from this point up to this point and now trim and trim you can cover this line from this point to the end points of this line and we can trim
can add dimensions we go to annotate tab and from there we select the line and we start from the base as you can see we have to modify the dimensions style in order to make it in order to make them big enough to be seen so now it's good So this is the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, bye.